<clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to KOW. We are just two nights after the events of KOW Reign of Kings, and it was a huge pay per view and hugely successful at that. However, this man was not successful in accomplishing his goal of becoming the new KOW heavyweight champion Trey Dexon getting upset in the steel cage by the KOW world champion Dylan Styles. and speaking of we have a huge and amazing match to start our show tonight as Trey Dexon who isn't happy about the fact that he now has to team up with a tag team partner will be taking on Dylan Styles. And a partner of his choosing. Now, of course, General Manager Sherman made this match official. And told both of these two men to find a partner. And Trey said he won't find a partner because he doesn't want one. And General Manager Sherman said, well, then I'll have to assign you one. So, even Trey probably doesn't know who his partner is. And we will find out in just a moment as... Trey hopes to get a little bit of vengeance in this tag team match tonight against the world champ. And who is his partner? Oh boy. General Manager Sherman clearly messing with Trey Dexon as he's got Adam Less to be Trey Dexon's tag team partner tonight and yeah, look at him Adam of course does not have a great history here in KOW on a nice losing streak is yet to win a match in KOW tonight could be the night he changes his luck not a lot of people really enjoy Adam less but you know they do what he can And so, here we go. So now we know that Adam Less is Trey Dexon's partner, but now we have to be wondering who did Dylan Styles get to be his partner? Well, I guess we will soon find out. Oh, who is this? Who will be Dylan Styles' partner? It, there's no way. Wow. So after the beating that he took before Reign of Kings from Trey Dexon just three weeks ago, where Trey Dexon beat him down with a sledgehammer, getting himself disqualified, Austin Torque is Dylan Styles' tag team partner for tonight. Wow. Perhaps, perhaps suiting. Very suiting for Austin Torque to be his partner tonight, perhaps. Of course, Austin had to be sent to a medical center to be looked at after the brutal assault with the sledgehammer just three weeks ago. Was put on the injured reserve until actually just before Reign of Kings he came off. And now I'm sure he's looking to get back into the ring for a little bit of action. Probably didn't think it'd be against the one man who put him on the injury reserve, but who knows? Maybe this was all a coordinated plan. And speaking of men with plans, how about this man who walked into Reign of Kings heavyweight champion and walked out heavyweight champion Look at him, Dylan Styles, your KOW heavyweight champion, victorious in last night's steel cage match, defeating Trey Dexon with the King Slayer and retaining the KOW World Heavyweight Championship. And of course, now he looks forward to his next title defense 
which we can only assume will be at the up-and-coming pay-per-view at the end of December called KOW Last Stand. And so, this who will it be against? Well, we don't know. It could be Trey Dexon, or it could be any of the two tag partners tonight. But it looks like to start this match, Austin's going to get a little revenge on Trey for the sledgehammer beating. Oh. Big neck breaker. Stomps. 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 Now sends him into the corner. Oh, big clothesline in the corner. Goes for the pin off the clothesline. One. Oh. Very hopeful for Austin to try and get that pin. Oh. Elbow to the head. Elbow to the head. Elbow to the head. Some huge elbows. And now Austin, looking good tonight. Oh, but he gets countered from Trey. Oh, and a big boot to the face. And like that, momentum is now shifted in Trey's favor. Oh, big leg drop. Oh, uh-oh. Got him for a big full Nelson slam. That is not good on the back. And now just choking him. Just choking him to make a point. And now sends him into his corner. Makes the tag to Adam Less. Oh, big shoulder tackle by Adam Less. Oh, just wicked stomps to the back, working on that back that Trey Dexon had started. Now Adam goes up to the top. Oh, he wants Austin on his feet. Oh, big drop kick. And now Austin escapes to the outside. Runs him into the mat. And now picks him up. Perhaps looking for something big or dangerous here. Walks him to the barricade. What does he have planned? Nope. Adam Les fights his way out of it. Perhaps something big planned. Oh. And now sends Adam Les into the ring. Makes his way to the top rope. Perhaps looking for something big. Oh. Big drop kick. Lands kind of awkwardly. Maybe he didn't get all of it. One. And Adam Les kicks out at one. Now he picks him up, sends him into his corner, and makes the tag to the KOW World Champion Dylan Styles, who immediately comes in, works the arm, and slams him down. Now picking him up, sending him into the corner. But Adam Les has a counter and jumps him right on his head. Adam Les tagging in Trey Dexon. And now this is a rematch from last night. And a whole lot of this is what we've seen. Oh, putting his head into the turnbuckle. Some brutality in that. Puts him into the turnbuckle. Oh, what? Oh, shoulder first into the ring post. And slams him down. Goes for the pin off the big slam. One, two... No, only a two count. Oh, kick to the back. And now just works the neck and head. Now Dylan Styles goes to the second rope. Big splash. Oh, but Trey Dexon takes advantage with a big neck breaker. Oh, big stomp. Oh, big knee lift. Of course, Trey now just here to brutalize Dylan Styles, but Dylan Styles makes his way out of it, puts him down. Oh, and now he's calling for it. The same thing that beat him at Reign of Kings last night. Kingslayer! Kingslayer! One! 
two, no, Adam Less saving the match for his tag team partner. Now Dylan Styles going for a big one, lifts him up. No, nope. Trey has a counter for it and dumps him over. Oh, big clubbing blow to the back. And now just chokes him. Just chokes him out of spite and hate. Of course, Trey Dexon very, very frustrated. It's now twice. He's failed to capture that KOW world title. Oh, big backbreaker on Dylan Styles. Counter. Puts him in. Oh, but Trey counters with a big slam. Uh-oh. Trey calling for something big here, perhaps. Oh, but Dylan has a counter. Trey counters back. And takes control of momentum right away again. Goes for the pin. One. Not even a one count. And Dylan Styles needs to take a second to survey the situation, perhaps. Slides back in. Wait, what is this? An ambush! Oh, big face buster. Implanting him. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. Dylan Styles just continuously slaying the monster. And perhaps, perhaps Trey Dexon just, the one man he can't beat is Dylan Styles. Perhaps, but I'm getting worried right now that General Manager Sherman has made a match official for last stand. Trey Dexon will get one final title shot at Dylan Styles for the World Championship at last stand in a last man standing match. Huge match announcement. It's meant for last stand. December 27th. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our second match of the night. A rematch from about three weeks ago. Because three weeks ago, it was Keyshawn Jasso taking on Caleb Peck and Nick Cave came in and interfered, costing his partner the match. And now tonight, well, Keyshawn's going to look to get a little revenge on Nick as he takes on Nick one-on-one. -on -one. But this time, both men's partners are banned from ringside. As you can see, Keyshawn with that beautiful tag team championship around his waist. Of course, he and his partner, Jalen Graves, successful in defeating the former tag champs and becoming tag champs themselves, knocking off the Neon Knights. And the Neon Knights... I'm sure we'll be looking for a rematch for their tag team titles. One of which I'm sure the Sages of Savagery feel they shouldn't even get. But we will soon see what General Manager Sherman has to say about the match. Now Keyshawn in the ring and awaits this man. Former KOW Tag Team Champion Nick Cave. Some say last night, or rather Wednesday, at Reign of Kings, that he gave it his all and it was Caleb who cost the match for him. Others say that wasn't the case. But I'm sure that both Nick and Caleb have no time to keep doubt in their minds because they're going to need to push on towards the future and look for that tag team championship rematch for those tag team titles. And of course, neither, neither man of the Neon Knights, neither Nick nor Caleb, will, or has rather, gone and asked or requested for their rematch for the tag team titles. They instead have been rather quiet lately it's gonna be interesting to see how he performs tonight just 48 hours after losing those tag team titles
Big elbow. Oh. And slams him down, of course. Nick. Nick Cave, of course, as as I said earlier, responsible for attacking Keyshawn during his match with Caleb. Oh, headbutts constantly in the corner. And now goes goes for the pin off the headbutts in the corner. Not even a one. And throws him over the ropes, taking this to the outside. Oh, big hit into the steps. Now picks him up, perhaps planning something big. Oh, big kick. Picks him up. And now it is Keyshawn who turns the tables on Nick. Oh. And now Nick going up high. Oh, big double axe handle on Keyshawn. And now picks up Keyshawn. Oh. And now just beating him down. As he sends him into the ring. Goes in to break up the count. Yep. Kind of suspected this. Of course, Nick and Keyshawn, no strangers to each other. Perhaps looking for something. Nope. Keyshawn fights his way out of it. Oh. Sends Nick into the barricade. And Nick has a response for it. And now Nick perhaps was thinking about just taking the count out, but instead makes his way out. Oh, the action is just hot and furious. And instead, Keyshawn sends Nick in to the ring. Oh, plants his head into the ground. Now picks him up, perhaps looking for some sort of finish here. No, wait. Rolls him up instead. One. Two. Keyshawn kicks out. And now something big in the corner. More headbutts in the corner. Oh, huge headbutts. And now perhaps looking for the end. No! Big counter from Keyshawn. Oh, big kick to the gut. Big chop. And now dumping Nick to the outside. And now sending Nick into the barricade, but Nick has a counter. Oh, big forearm to the face. And Keyshawn has a counter for what Nick has. Plants him into the pavement. Oh, big elbow to the back of Nick. This action is just back and forth between these two men. And now it's Keyshawn with a big side Russian leg sweep on the outside. And now Keyshawn trying to tell Nick he never should have came. Now where is Keyshawn going? And of course, Nick breaking up the count. Oh, takes him down on the ramp, just pummels his face. Perhaps telling Keyshawn he's not about to get away like that. Now sends him back towards the ring. Now sending him into the ring, of course. Keyshawn seemingly trying to run off. Big punch to the face. 
Now Nick picks up Keyshawn. And hangs him up to dry. Now he picks Keyshawn up. Now perhaps looking for some sort of... Yes! The big swinging neck breaker. And now Nick trying to rally the people behind him. He's been in control of this match for a good part. Now picking Keyshawn up. Big implant face buster. Now perhaps looking to put the cherry on top. Yes, he is. Oh, big pile driver. Big pile driver. Drags him away from the ropes, goes for the pin. Perhaps this is it. One, two, three. Nick Cave victorious over Keyshawn Jasso. Perhaps, perhaps now giving general manager Sherman a reason to give Nick and his partner Caleb a shot or the rematch for their tag team titles, which they are owed contractually well only time will tell as we're going to find out soon exactly what the neon knights are looking to do for their tag team titles and now ladies and gentlemen it is time for our main event it is only the third match of the women's tag team extravaganza b block as uh, you can see bad and backwoods are set to take on their opponents tonight in the third match of b block competition wednesday at reign of kings we had two b block matches one on the pre-show to kick off the kickoff show and one on the main card of course, Sarah Gobb and Fayo Bay successful in the kickoff show match. And then Haley J and Samantha Coach successful on the main card match. And tonight, tonight the only one of two teams with no points looks to capture their first points. Meanwhile, Bad and Backwoods look to double their point count from two to four. In by the end of tonight's match and here they are their opponents first Jalen Braden her and her partner Juma Sims of course no points on the board losing their A block match whereas Bad and Back Woods won their A block match so tonight they look to knock off probably one of the more fan favorites in Bad and Back Woods but we can only wait and see who wins this match tonight. An amazing match put on at Reign of Kings between Haley J and Samantha Coach against Jennifer Pace and Jordan Nooks. That match was magic and everyone called it the match of the night. Could we perhaps see another amazing women's tag team match tonight? Only time will tell. And so, obviously, a lot at stake. You know, a loss, a loss in the A block is not really all that bad because, I mean, there are several more matches to go for your team. A loss in both the A and B blocks is no way to start a match. And here she comes. Her tag team partner, Juma Sims. It is been a rough tournament and extravaganza for this team. Losing in the first or second round of the tag team tournament. No points on the board as they go against probably the favorite to win the extravaganza, Bad and Back Woods. And uh, it's not easy. 
but I believe of all the women in the division who could one day be the greatest women's champion in history, I believe it is this woman right here, Juma Sims, who has proven in all of her matches that she is a very tough competitor, but, uh, well, let's just say Jalen Braden hasn't proven to be as tough for this team. As Jalen put it, when she tweeted after Reign of Kings saying, we may take on the fan favorites, but I have Juma Sims, the powerhouse of the women's division. Meanwhile, I am the beauty. And while some will disagree that Jalen is the beauty at all in any situation, tonight we're going to find out if perhaps Jalen can turn that beauty into a little bit of strength on her own and win this tag team match to put some points on the board. Well, we're about to find out. Brittany Riggs will be starting for Bat and Backwoods. Jalen Braden starting for her team. Oh, big loose as press with fast hands. Getting right down the business as Brittany Riggs. Always. And now, sends her to the ropes. Oh, big drop kick. Big snapmare takedown. And a big natural selection. Now drags her to the turnbuckle. Goes to the second rope. Oh, big splash. Goes for an early pin off the big splash. One, two, not even a two count. Picks her up. And now sends her into her corner. But Jalen has an answer fighting out of the corner. But Brittany shuts it down immediately. No, wait. Jalen still got some fight in her. Oh, big suplex. Oh, big stomp to the back. And now Jalen's taking control of this match. Going up high. Oh, big elbow. Huge elbow. And now, picking up Brittany Riggs. But Brittany has a counter with a big knee to the gut. But Jalen also has a counter. But Brittany has a counter. Send her to the ropes and another big drop kick. Takes down Jalen Braden. And Brittany Riggs. Sends her into her corner and makes the tag. To Breland Dubbin. Stereo super kicks. Puts down Jalen, but Jalen makes the tag to Juma. Oh, big punch by Juma. Big boot. Oh, big drop kick by Breland Dubbin. Stops Jalen, or Juma rather, from making any sort of more momentum. But a big elbow. Oh. Back and forth, chain wrestling, fast action from our women here in the main event. Center to the ropes. Oh, big drop kick. Goes for the pin off the drop kick. One. Only a one count. Oh. Misses the big natural selection. Now picks her up and drops her down. Not good on the back, that is. Oh, another big slam. Now picks her up. And a good counter for Breland Dubbin. Dropping Juma, Juma right on her back. Now picks her up. Goes for the big one. Big GTS. Goes to end it all here. Perhaps something huge. No. Juma has a big counter. Oh, slams her down to the mat. Now rolls her over. Picks her up for a big suplex. Oh, what a huge suplex. And Breland makes her way to the outside, but 
catches Juma while out there. Oh, puts Juma into the barricade and makes the tag to Brittany Riggs. Who's gonna go up high? Oh, big elbow. Big elbow to the skull. And sends Juma right back into the ring. But prevents the tag, goes for the pin. One, only a one count out of Juma. Oh, misses the big natural selection. But Brittany counters Juma. Back and forth action from these women. And now a big neck breaker. Big neck breaker. Goes for the pin off the neck breaker. One. Only a one count. Goes for it all. Oh. The rig breaker. Rig breaker. Goes for the pin. One. Only a one count. Now it just puts the stomps to Juma. Sends her to her corner. Oh, went for the drop kick, but Juma was ready for it. Oh, big press with some hands to go with it. And Juma and Jalen just cannot get rolling in this match to save their lives. And now makes the tag to Brittany Riggs. Or Breland Dubbin, rather. Oh, good tag team work. Now goes for the pin off the double team. One. Only a one count, because Jalen saves it for her team. Big counter for Juma. Oh, big slam, and Breland's head hit the rope hard. Oh. Big stomp to the gut. And now perhaps calling for something big here. What does Juma have in mind? It doesn't matter. Because Breland puts her down. Uh-oh. What's this? Another GTS. Another GTS. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. And bad and backwoods. Now the first team to win two back-to-back -back matches and the first team to get four total points in this tournament. Bad and Backwoods seem seemingly unstoppable. Who will be able to knock off what many are calling the favorite to win this? Well... I guess we'll have to find out down the line. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for our Friday show. Tune in Sunday for all the fallout from the Infinite Championship to who will be next for the women's champion, Kayla May. You'll have to join us Sunday to find out. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the Purple Sherman's channel for all your KOW content. And we'll see you Sunday for more KOW.